Despite all your hard work, if you're stuck at 6.5, you're making 5 critical mistakes that no one is talking about. And I know how frustrating it feels. And by the end of this video, you will say goodbye to 6.5 by implementing 5 solutions that I will be showing you in this video. So let's talk about why are you actually stuck at 6.5. So the first reason why you're stuck at 6.5 especially in IELTS reading, is because of your time management. I mean, it's not just simple time management, like not spending too, uh, over two minutes on each question or like spending too much time trying to understand the passage. But I'm going to give you advanced tips that will help you for time management while you are preparing for the IELTS exam. So my first suggestion to you is doing fewer things. And I also see a lot of students who actually plan out six or seven tasks for preparing for IELTS each day, and they will not be able to do any of those. And why does that happen? Because if you are going to draw a pie chart which shows your focus, your focus cannot be at six different things. And even if you do all those six different things, the quality of those tasks are going to go down. So my personal suggestion is do two or three tasks each day, not more than that. And you can also use a couple of tools uh, to help you better manage your time, like Notion or Google Calendar. One thing that has worked for me was setting a timer for each task. For example, if I had to learn uh, 30 vocabulary, I would uh, set a timer of one or like 1.5 hours and I would speed run this process with quality. So the next reason why you might be stuck at 6.5 is because of your reading comprehension. And essentially, and I have three solutions to this. So the first one is just enjoying what you read. It doesn't matter what you're going to read. For example, you can read some magazines or articles from New York uh, Times, Scientist, or you can also read some research papers based on subjects that you love. You can find these sorts of research papers in the website called Research Gates or Academia. So the second solution that I recommend to a lot of students is visualizing information. It really helps you to understand the passage overall. And if you understand the passage, well, so it's going to be a lot easier to answer questions correctly. So the third way I recommend to a lot of students when they uh, have like trouble with understanding the passage is annotating the text, highlighting some important parts, underlining. This is actually a game changer, especially in IELTS reading. If, even if you're taking uh, the exam on paper, you can uh, underline with your pencil or pen. In this video, I'm giving solutions to those who are stuck at 6.5 in IELTS reading. But if you want to know how you can pass through 6.5 in IELTS listening. If this video gets 300 likes, I will post that video as well. Let, so moving on to the next reason why you're stuck at 6.5, which is a uh, lack of vocabulary. But how are you gonna solve that problem? So the way I learned a lot of vocabulary was first, when I read an article of specific subject or specific topic, I wrote down words that I did not know. And I read uh, articles for a lot of different topics so that I knew uh, vocabulary, topic specific vocabulary for each topic. And the way I learned those vo words was I first uh, wrote the word in the first column and in the second column, I wrote the definition and in the third column, I wrote an example with it. Or sometimes I also wrote another example in the fourth column. And each day I only read examples, not definitions, not translations, not words themselves. Why did I do all that stuff? 
because when I read examples, I will know when it is used and I will literally be able to use it in any situation. Even in speaking or writing, I was actually able to use those words. The next reason why a lot of students are stuck at 6.5 is planning so much stuff and not getting them done. And I actually found a few solutions to this problem. So the first solution is having a daily highlight. Write down your plans for tomorrow that you have control over. As I said, don't write more than two or three tasks per day. And uh, students just write down what they don't have control over. For example, they write down, tomorrow I will get 38 out of 40 in IELTS reading. This is not something that you have control over. So what you should focus on is your input, which is tasks that you have control over. For example, you, can, you do have control over for learning 15 words per day, or you have control over for analyzing one passage per day. These are examples of tasks that you have control over. By the way, this solution is by far the most important one. A ton of people were asking about uh, error lock. What is it and how do we do it? Make a tutorial about it. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to do it. So like this is actually the reason why a lot of students are actually not getting the scores they need and they just don't have an error lock or like you can also say error reports. And so in the first column, this is essentially an Excel file or you can, it doesn't matter, it might be even a Word file, but preferably Excel file is much better. So in the first column, you're gonna write down the question type that you made a mistake in. And then in the second column, you're gonna write down why you made a mistake. In the third column, you're gonna write distractions. And in the fourth one, you're gonna write what you could do next time to avoid this mistake. A lot of students are not seeing improvements in the IELTS score because of one thing, and this thing is actually killing their score, which is practice tests. And in this video, I showed you why practice tests are killing your score and what you should do instead.